Corinthians chapter 9 verse 16 we read like this 1 Corinthians 9 16 everybody read if I proclaim the gospel if I proclaim the gospel this gives me no ground for boasting this gives me no ground for boasting for an obligation is laid on me for an obligation is laid and on owed me. to me and owed to me if I do not proclaim the gospel if I do not proclaim the gospel my dear brothers and sisters we normally get a lot of messages father thank you very much for preaching this word of god thank you very much for spending your time thank you very much for this live streaming let me tell you, my dear brothers and sisters, there is no special reward for me for what I'm doing right now. For all these live streaming that I do daily, don't ever think that I will have a special reward for this because this is my duty. I have nothing to boast about. This is my obligation. This is an obligation laid on me. Saint Paul, after working hard day and night, he made three powerful mini missionary journeys. He went through terrible persecution, which we can't even imagine beyond our imagination. And nothing of those kind of persecution we have gone through as we priest. But St. Paul went through terrible persecution. And in spite of that persecution, he said like this, this gives me no ground, ground for boasting because an obligation is laid on me. Oh, to me if I do not proclaim the gospel. My dear brothers and sisters, I know for all the times and hours and hours, times I spent for preparation and preaching and daily commitment, everything that I do for this ministry of the word doesn't, is not going to give me any special privileges and benefits in the presence of God. But, but at the same time, maybe God is happy or satisfied or getting satisfied that I'm doing my duty. That's all. There is nothing sp special. The same thing is laid on you too. An obligation is laid on you, my dear brothers and sisters. Many of you are doing your duty very well by at least sharing that live streaming link with all your friends and family members and in in informing about them, informing, ab informing them about all the good things the Lord is doing in your life. Well and good. At least you are doing something. But that's not enough. You have an obligation to spread the gospel. You have an obligation to profess your faith and witness to Jesus Christ. We should never be ashamed. Let's repeat after me. If I proclaim the gospel, if I proclaim the gospel, this gives me no ground for boasting. This gives me no ground for, for boasting. For an obligation is laid on me. For an obligation is laid on me. And owed to me. And owed to me. If I do not proclaim the gospel, if I do not proclaim the gospel, Saint Paul says, "Owed to me if I don't proclaim the gospel." Let me tell you, my dear brothers and sisters, owed to you if you don't proclaim the gospel. Owed to you. If you don't proclaim the gospel. That is what catechism of the Catholic Church said. For service of and witness to the faith is necessary for salvation. It is necessary if you really want to be saved.